the amazing power of prayer points. Have mercy on certain belay, O oh God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out certain belay's transgressions, wash away all certain belay's iniquity, and clean certain belay from her sin. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of poverty, sickness, and disease, infertility, coronavirus, cancer, setback, career failure, nightmares, ever attacks, hearing problems, imprisonment, disappointment, and near success, success syndrome. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of poverty, sickness and disease, hearing problems, mental problems, COVID-19, cancer, imprisonment, disappointment, joblessness, and near success syndrome. The amazing power of prayer points. Good morning and win today. My name is Setembile Ngobe from South Africa. My testimony goes like this. I'm just going to try and be brief about it uh, because it's quite long. Um, I had a court case, a serious, serious, serious one. It was very bad. Uh, um, it started in March. And then um, I, I thought I was going to deal with it myself on my own, alone with my God. I started praying about it up until um, June. June, I started developing this fear. I was so fearful. I was so scared in a way that I could not sleep at night. If I say I could not sleep at night, I'm not saying I would be up um, for like 30 minutes or I would stay in bed for like an hour. I would literally go to bed around 10, but up until 3 a.m. or 4 a.m., I'll be tossing and turning, thinking about this thing. I'll be sweating. I, this, it, it was literally giving me nightmares. It was bad. It was not a good thing. I lost the appetite because each and every time I think about it, I would I would feel my heart sinking, sinking like deeply in cold water. I, I could feel that I'm going down, 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 down because uh, this thing was going to give me, um, I was literally going to have a criminal record that would stay on my profile for a good 10 years. If you have a criminal record here in South Africa, you can't get a job. You can't do most of the important stuff because this thing stays in your profile and it's a bad record. Once the company sees that you have a criminal record, they don't even bother to ask you what was it or whatsoever. Or maybe you can explain your side of the story. They just push your stuff to the side and move with clean people. So you need to be clean. You must be clean. Otherwise, you are, you are good as dead. So I was so scared. I've been following Wiseman Daniel since he was still at school and up until he started his own ministry. And then I've been watching his sermons. I've been listening to his teachings. On the 18th, that night, I can't remember what time was it. I'll check on my emails. Something said, send an email, ask for prayers. You can't do this on your own. You can't do this alone. You need some back up because I did not share with this bad news with my family this this court case because I did not I did not want to stress them out I was like I'm going to do it on my own with my God I know God is with me I'm going to do it but at that on the 18th at night 
I was tossing and turning. And then something said to me, send an email to Wiseman Daniel. Um, you need a backup. You need an extra hand on this. You can't do it on your own. Because the court case was on the 23rd. Just imagine, I'm requesting prayers on the 18th. And the, on the 23rd, it, it, it's, the, it, it, um, it's a court date. And then I took my phone, went straight on um, YouTube. I searched for Wiseman Stanel um, Ministries email address. I found it. I, I drafted an email. I was scared. I tried. My email was very long. I did not even say, I'm requesting in prayers on this and that. I tried to explain how I'm feeling about this thing. And then the following day, I sent an email that night on the 18th. The following day, he responded with the prayer points. He started praying on those prayer points. Aggressively breaking everything. Breaking all this dark spirit of darkness. I started praying. My first prayer, I felt so relieved, strong with my first prayer. I was like, what is happening? The spirit of fear just left me. I felt strong and brave. I was like, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. And then I prayed at night. I prayed in the morning. Even during the day, I always make time that uh, I make sure that I take my prayer points and pray. I read the Psalm 51 and did everything like he taught us to do. Uh, um, I started uh, praying, praying, praying in the in the morning, uh, during the day and afternoon. Even at night, I would wake up at 12 and pray at any time, actually. Though he says to us, we must pray, we, we, we must repeat them in the morning or afternoon, but with me, I felt like I, I'm, I, I don't want to give this a gap. I, I need it. And then on the 22nd, I saw a detective. The case was going to be the following day. I saw a detective. He, he reminded me that don't forget to come tomorrow at 8.30. And then I went. I woke up in the morning, got dressed on the 23rd of July. Uh, I was not scared. I knew God was walking with me because I could feel his presence. I felt so strong. I was ready to face it. I, I don't know where I got that strength from, but I felt so strong. And then I drove to the court. I parked my car at the parking lot. As I was still inside the car at the parking lot, getting ready to get, to, to, to get off the car and walk to the courtroom. I saw a car parking right behind mine. I'm inside my car at that particular time. And then I tried to, to check who is that person parking right behind me because the parking lot was still uh, vacant. So why would he come park right be behind my car? And then when I checked properly, oh, it was the detective, okay? He called me. He said, okay, come here. I got off the car, went straight to him. And then he said to me, sister, go back home. You don't really need even to get inside the courtroom. I was like, okay. I did not ask why. I said, okay. He said, there, are no, there is no case against you. The detective saw no case on all the things laid against you. So you are free. There is no case against you. There won't be any case anymore. It's been rejected, declined, and everything. You are free. Just go home. Brethren, I did not even ask what happened, all the stories, because I knew God was with me. I just was, I, was, I said, thank you. Thank you, brother. I went straight to my car. I sat down. I prayed. I thank God. I read uh, Psalms 121 again. I praised the Lord. And then I drove back to home. On the night, on the first night that I had started using these prayer points, I saw wise man Daniel in my dreams. He was laying hands on me. And then I manifested on the dream. And then 
when I woke up the following day on the 20th, I felt very light again for the second time. I encourage all the, all the viewers all over the world to take these prayer points seriously. Do as wise men Daniel advise you to do. Read Psalms 51. Forgive and forget everyone who has had you before. Make sure you pray with a clean heart. Try and remember, ask God to help you remember a, everyone you, you have wronged and everyone who has wronged you. Pray to God before you start with these prayer points. Ask for forgiveness. Pray with a clean heart. Ask God to fill your heart with love and pureness. T and take these prayer points seriously. You will see it will work for you. It worked for me because I took this prayer point seriously. And then I asked God to give me a clean heart. I prayed to God to forgive me all my sins and forgive and release my heart from any grudges, from any pain of the past. So I urge you viewers all over the world to take these prayer points seriously. Seriously, because had I not taken them seriously, I would be in big trouble as I speak right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, wise man, Diamond, Daniel, for these prayer points. We thank God for, the, for a person like you. We thank God for you. God, may God protect and guide you. Please, don't stop praying for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, viewers all over the world. The hour has come for you and your entire family to be healed, delivered, blessed, and saved through the amazing power of prayer points released by God Almighty Himself through His anointed servant, wise man Daniel. Many have been asking for how they could get these prayer points. Therefore, to get a copy of these prayer points, you can contact Wise Man Daniel Ministries as you send in your prayer request through our WhatsApp prayer request line plus 234-9021-470247. Viewers all over the world, as you are ready to follow the divine instruction, remember to alert your husband, wife, sister, brother or friend to get their camera or headset ready to record because something will happen that would make you know that indeed God is great. And at the end, make sure you send us such videos as evidence of your testimony through our WhatsApp testimony line. Plus 234-9015 one one three zero zero two finally viewers all over the world be careful of fraudsters who are trying to use this opportunity to defraud you freely wiseman daniel received these prayer points from god's bedroom and freely he is giving you these prayer points are not for sale and there is no financial bargain for it. If you pay anyone money to receive it or someone asks you to pay them money to receive it, it will not work for you and you will only end up increasing your problems. So don't be desperate about it. Be patient to get it free from the right source because salvation is free. We can't wait to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Shalom.